A multipole expansion is a mathematical series representing a function that depends on angles, usually the two angles on a sphere. These series are useful because they can often be truncated, meaning that only the first few terms need to be retained for a good approximation to the original function. The function being expanded may be complex in general. Multipole expansions are very frequently used in the study of electromagnetic and gravitational fields, where the fields at distant points are given in terms of sources in a small region. The multipole expansion with angles is often combined with an expansion in radius. Such a combination gives an expansion describing a function throughout three-dimensional space. The multipole expansion is expressed as a sum of terms with progressively finer angular features. For example, the initial term, called the zero th or monopole moment, is a constant, independent of angle. The following term, the first, or dipole, moment, varies once from positive to negative around the sphere. Higher order terms vary more quickly with angles. A multipole moment usually involves powers of the distance to the origin, as well as some angular dependence. In principle, a multipole expansion provides an exact description of the potential and generally converges under two conditions. If the sources are localized close to the origin and the point at which the potential is observed is far from the origin, or the reverse, i.e., if the sources are located far from the origin and the potential is observed close to the origin. In the first case, the coefficients of the series expansion are called exterior multipole moments or simply multipole moments whereas, in the second case, they are called interior multipole moments. The first term in the expansion is called the monopole moment, the second term is denoted as the dipole moment, and the third, fourth, etc. terms are denoted as quadrupole, octopolar, etc. moments. Expansion in spherical harmonics. Most commonly, the series is written as a sum of spherical harmonics. Thus, we might write a function as the sum here, of the standard spherical harmonics, and a constant coefficients which depend on the function. The term represents the monopole, represent the dipole, and so on. Equivalently, the series is also frequently written as here, the represent the components of a unit vector in the direction given by the angles and, and indices are implicitly summed. Here, the term is the monopole, is a set of three numbers representing the dipole, and so on. In the above expansions, the coefficients may be real or complex. If the function being expressed as a multipole expansion is real, however, the coefficients must satisfy certain properties. In the spherical harmonic expansion, we must have in the multivector expansion, each coefficient must be real. While expansions of scalar functions are by far the most common application of multipole expansions, they may also be generalized to describe tenses of arbitrary rank. This finds use in multipole expansions of the vector potential in electromagnetism, or the metric perturbation in the description of gravitational waves. For describing functions of three dimensions, away from the coordinate origin, the coefficients of the multipole expansion can be written as functions of the distance to the origin, most frequently, as a Laurent series in powers of, for example, to describe the electromagnetic potential from a source in a small region near the origin, the coefficients may be written as applications of multipole expansions. Multipole expansions are widely used in problems involving gravitational fields of systems of masses, electric and magnetic fields of charge and current distributions, and the propagation of electromagnetic waves. A classic example is the calculation of the exterior multipole moments of atomic nuclei from their interaction energies with the interior multipoles of the electronic orbitals. The multipole moments of the nuclei report on the distribution of charges within the nucleus and, thus, on the shape of the nucleus. Truncation of the multipole expansion to its first non-zero term is often useful for theoretical calculations. 
Multipole expansions are also useful in numerical simulations, and form the basis of the fast multipole method of Green Guard and Rocklin. A general technique for efficient computation of energies and forces in systems of interacting particles. The basic idea is to decompose the particles into groups. Particles within a group interact normally, whereas the energies and forces between groups of particles are calculated from their multipole moments. The efficiency of the fast multipole method is generally similar to that of Awald summation, but is superior if the particles are clustered, i.e., if the system has large density fluctuations. Multipole expansion of a potential outside an electrostatic charge distribution. Consider a discrete charge distribution consisting of n-point charges G with position vectors Re. We assume the charges to be clustered around the origin, so that for all I, Re less than R max, where R max has some finite value. The potential V, due to the charge distribution, at a point R outside the charge distribution, i.e., R, greater than R max, can be expanded in powers of 1, R. Two ways of making this expansion can be found in the literature. The first is a Taylor series in the Cartesian coordinates x, y, and z, while the second is in terms of spherical harmonics which depend on spherical polar coordinates. The Cartesian approach has the advantage that no prior knowledge of legendary functions, spherical harmonics, etc., is required. Its disadvantage is that the derivations are fairly cumbersome. Also it is difficult to give a closed expression for a general term of the multipole expansion, usually only the first few terms are given followed by an ellipsis. Expansion in Cartesian coordinates the Taylor expansion of an arbitrary function v around the origin r equals zero is with if v satisfies the Laplace equation then the expansion can be rewritten in terms of the components of a traceless Cartesian second rank tensor, where delta alpha beta is the Kronecker delta and r2, r2. Removing the trace is common, because it takes the rotationally invariant R2 out of the second rank tensor. Example, consider now the following form of E. Then by direct differentiation it follows that define a monopole, dipole, and quadrupole by, respectively. And we obtain finally the first few terms of the multipole expansion of the total potential, which is the sum of the Coulomb potentials of the separate charges. This expansion of the potential of a discrete charge distribution is very similar to the one in real solid harmonics given below. The main difference is that the present one is in terms of linear dependent quantities. For note, if the charge distribution consists of two charges of opposite sign which are an infinitesimal distance d apart, so that d are greater than greater than 2, it is easily shown that the only non-vanishing term in the expansion is the electric dipolar potential field. Spherical form the potential V at a point R outside the charge distribution, i.e., R, greater than R max, can be expanded by the Laplace expansion, whereas an irregular solid harmonic and is a regular solid harmonic. We define the spherical multipole moment of the charge distribution as follows. Note that a multipole moment is solely determined by the charge distribution. A spherical harmonic depends on the unit vector. Thus, by definition, the irregular solid harmonics can be written as so that the multipole expansion of the field V at the point R outside the charge distribution is given by this expansion is completely general in that it gives a closed form for all terms, not just for the first few. It shows that the spherical multipole moments appear as coefficients in the 1 R expansion of the potential. It is of interest to consider the first few terms in real form, which are the only terms commonly found in undergraduate textbooks. Since the summand of the M summation is invariant under a unitary transformation of both factors simultaneously and since transformation of complex spherical harmonics to real form is by a unitary transformation, we can simply substitute real irregular solid harmonics and real multipole moments. The E equals zero term becomes this is in fact Coulomb's law again. 
For the equals 1 term we introduce then this term is identical to the one found in Cartesian form. In order to write the equals 2 term, we have to introduce shorthand notations for the five real components of the quadrupole moment and the real spherical harmonics. Notations of the type can be found in the literature. Clearly the real notation becomes awkward very soon, exhibiting the usefulness of the complex notation. Interaction of two non-overlapping charge distributions. Consider two sets of point charges, one set G clustered around a point A and one set QJ clustered around a point B. Think for example of two molecules, and recall that a molecule by definition consists of electrons and nuclei. The total electrostatic interaction energy UAB between the two distributions is this energy can be expanded in a power series in the inverse distance of A and B. This expansion is known as the multipole expansion of UAB. In order to derive this multipole expansion, we write Rxy equals Rx, which is a vector pointing from X towards Y. Note that we assume that the two distributions do not overlap. Under this condition we may apply the Laplace expansion in the following form where an are irregular and regular solid harmonics, respectively. The translation of the regular solid harmonic gives a finite expansion, where the quantity between pointed brackets is a Clash-Gordon coefficient. Further we used use of the definition of spherical multipoles QML and covering of the summation ranges in a somewhat different order gives finally. This is the multipole expansion of the interaction energy of two non-overlapping charge distributions which are a distance rab apart. Since this expansion is manifestly in powers of 1, rab, the function YML is a normalized spherical harmonic. Molecular moments all atoms and molecules have one or more non-vanishing permanent multipole moments. Different definitions can be found in the literature. But the following definition in spherical form has the advantage that it is contained in one general equation. Because it is in complex form it has as the further advantage that it is easier to manipulate in calculations than its real counterpart. We consider a molecule consisting of n particles with charges as e. Particle I has spherical polar coordinates re, theta I, and phi I and Cartesian coordinates xi, yi, and z. The electrostatic multipole operator is where is a regular solid harmonic function in Racker's normalization. If the molecule has total normalized wave function psi, then the multipole moment of order of the molecule is given by the expectation value. If the molecule has certain point group symmetry, then this is reflected in the wave function. Psi transforms according to a certain irreducible representation lambda of the group. This has the consequence that selection rules hold for the expectation value of the multipole operator, or in other words, that the expectation value may vanish because of symmetry. A well-known example of this is the fact that molecules with an inversion center do not carry a dipole. For a molecule without symmetry no selection rules are operative and such a molecule will have non-vanishing multipoles of any order. The lowest explicit forms of the regular solid harmonics give the dipole components a. Note that by a simple linear combination one can transform the complex multipole operators to real ones. The real multipole operators are of cosine type or sine type. A few of the lowest ones are. Note on conventions the definition of the complex molecular multipole moment given above is the complex conjugate of the definition given in this article, which follows the definition of the standard textbook on classical electrodynamics by Jackson, except for the normalization. Moreover, in the classical definition of Jackson the equivalent of the n-particle quantum mechanical expectation value is an integral over a one-particle charge distribution 
distribution. Remember that in the case of a one-particle quantum mechanical system the expectation value is nothing but an integral over the charge distribution, so that the definition of this article is a quantum mechanical n-particle generalization of Jackson's definition. The definition in this article agrees with, among others, the one of Fano and Racker and Brink and Satchler, examples of multipole expansions. There are many types of multipole moments, since there are many types of potentials and many ways of approximating a potential by a series expansion, depending on the coordinates and the symmetry of the charge distribution. The most common expansions include, axial multipole moments of a 1, R potential, spherical multipole moments of a 1, R potential, and cylindrical multipole moments of a lane are potential. Examples of 1 are potentials include the electric potential, the magnetic potential and the gravitational potential of point sources. An example of a lane R potential is the electric potential of an infinite line charge. General mathematical properties. Multipole moments in mathematics and mathematical physics form an orthogonal basis for the decomposition of a function based on the response of a field to point sources that are brought infinitely close to each other. These can be thought of as arranged in various geometrical shapes, or, in the sense of distribution theory, as directional derivatives. Multipole expansions are related to the underlying rotational symmetry of the physical laws and their associated differential equations. Even though the source terms may not be symmetrical, one can expand them in terms of irreducible representations of the rotational symmetry group, which leads to spherical harmonics and related sets of orthogonal functions. One uses the technique of separation of variables to extract the corresponding solutions for the radial dependencies. In practice, many fields can be well approximated with a finite number of multipole moments. A typical application is to approximate the field of a localized charge distribution by its monopole and dipole terms. Problem solved once for a given order of multipole moment may be linearly combined to create a final approximate solution for a given source.